Alright guys, we're back at Quality Coach Works at Armor. We're here, they have the Escalade, the 2022 Escalade all torn apart before everything starts getting put in it. So we're going to see it all stripped down before all the goodies and extras. We're going to meet with Dominic, the owner. He's going to take the time to explain to us what's going to happen with the vehicle, what we're doing. These guys do some incredible, crazy builds. Now I'm like, do we need to do some bulletproofing to the exotic cars? Do we need to get an SUV? Uh, now the, the wheels are turning and you guys know I'm a little crazy so I don't know we're gonna have to do something for sure let's go find Dominic and let's see what's going on I'm excited to see what the vehicle looks like Dominic how are you sir? Thanks for having us back. Yeah, it's great to have you. I got Bro, a couple treats for you today. I, we can't, I can't stop thinking about it and you showed us some little things when we were here the first day and I'm just like now my wheels are turning on what we can do with the vehicles and add some safety and do some crazy stuff, but I'm really excited. Thank you so much for having us back. Cool, I'm glad you're excited. I'll show you this car first to just show you some things. All right. So this is a completely armored car, B6, for all high-powered rifles and handguns. So what does the B6 stand for? The B6 is a, a British rating, a level, of what the armor needs to be to stop the uh, bullets from coming through. Okay, okay. So this car here, I think you get a big kick out of this. This has where you can return fire from the inside. So is this, this is bulletproof? This part, this part is not bulletproof. The car okay. is. This is just a cover. The cover, okay. To make this look nice. Okay. But if you're in the car, you hit the return fire, you push it off, falls to the ground. Wow. And you can shoot from the And you can shoot back out. Yeah. That is crazy. Take a look. You see the thickness of the glass here? This is on level B6 again. See the thickness of the armored glass? Wow. That's that is over half an inch thick guys over half an inch thick that is there's no getting in that there's no, there's getting, no in getting in that this car has uh flashing lights siren pa if you want to hear it can we turn on the siren If you don't feel safe in this, you won't feel safe in anything. This is a tank by this definition. Is, this is just a luxury tank. That's right. Oh my god. Take a gosh. look inside. You can see the open your door to give you some light. Is a big TV right there? I think we need one of these straight up driven. Straight up driven needs one, bro. Look at that roof. Now the roof is bulletproof too. The whole car is bulletproof. The whole the roof, side. floors, everything is bulletproof. You got full 360 cameras. So you see what's going on outside of the car. You pull this lever and you can stick your gun out and shoot back. So if they bring it to you, if they wanted a package just like this, what does this package cost this, and what is it called? Okay, so this level is a B6. A B6. So this vehicle is uh, done with quarter inch plate steel. AR 500 hardness, floor, ceiling, sides, everything, and then the glass is all B6. And this kit would cost about 80k. 80k. Now, does that also include the bomb proofing? That in this case, it includes the bomb proofing floor, but not all the other options that are in it, like the PA and the run floors and the run flats and things like that. So this particular vehicle, they spent over 100 grand. They spent well over 100 grand on ring. Wow. wow. There's somebody really important or somebody really bad. <laughs> And then you have, I don't know if you can show us, but Dominic was just telling me a story that he had a client that just had to send his car back because someone tried to carjack him and get in the car. Two gentlemen with pickaxes. Pickaxes. And your car did its job. To not get in the car. It just, the minute, smallest little chip. Yeah, if you like, I'll bring you guys inside and I'll show you the chip. Well, I'd love to see it. Yeah. Hey guys, you can see we're replacing the front windows. Uh, I'm sorry, the front and passenger, well, front and rear on the driver's side here. Okay. He tried to get into both, and then when he was getting very nervous with what going to happen, he crashed to the curb and left the wheel. Wow. So I'll, I'll bring the glass around. I'll so that's the actual glass of the car. The wonderful window to show you they were hitting it with a pickaxe and could barely chip it. The, they tried to hit it over six times and didn't even do any damage. It's just just a tiny little baby mark. A few little chips out of the glass. As you can see how thick the glass is. This is a level B4. 
So this is a V4. This is what's happening with so the new 2022. For new 2022, is uh, anti intrusion get a V4. How thick is this glass? This glass is three quarters of an inch thick. Three quarters. The one you saw out there is like an inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. Okay. Bro, I cannot believe six different times with a pick, and that's all that happened. Can, you need, are you are you getting in on this? Not like I can barely even feel it, guys. Yeah, uh, I'll show you some other stuff too, and I also got a window for you guys to take with you. You got a window for us to take with us? Hey, we're shooting some bulletproof glass later tonight, guys. So B4 rating bulletproof glass, shot with a 44 Magnum. The bullet is lodged in the glass. So you can see here, the bullet is in the glass still. Did not go through, did its job. 44 Magnum. We're going to have our own piece that we get to test out. All right, Dominic, so I believe this is the car we dropped off right behind us. So what are you doing? What, what stage are we at? And when is our completion time that you're shooting for? Okay, so we're about midway through it. Okay. We're actually installing all of the composite armor right now. We have everything cut out. We're going to start installing the glass over the next few days. This car is still a level B4, which is the level of protection it has. Okay. And then we're going to add the electrified door handles to it as well. And we're going to shock me when we which, pick it up. Which we're going to be happy to let you try. Perfect. This car is probably about two weeks away from finishing. Okay. The completion date is roughly two weeks from now. Okay. And then we'll have it all back together. It just looks like a Britain stock car, but it'll have an anti intrusion package in it and level B4 protection. We're excited, guys. We're going to be back in two weeks. We're going to test out the shocker. I'll let you know how much pain there is. And then me and Dominic and another member that wants to stay anonymous with Straight Up Driven, we have something very special planned for you guys at the end of the car. That's right. And you're going to come out special oh, for that, Dominic. Ah, oh, we're excited. We're excited. <laughs> guys, stay tuned. Something super special. And you know I don't exaggerate. Straight up driven. As you know, always mixing it up. So today we're here. We're uh, doing a little shooting and actually testing a piece of B4 uh, bulletproof glass that's going to be going on the truck. So wanted to test it, see what it stops. We're gonna we got a little surprise for you at the end. So we've rented out the entire gun range. So nobody else is in here with us. It's just for shooting the video. How many stalls? One, two, three, four. Yeah, like over 20 stalls. We had to rent the whole thing out to be able to shoot the bulletproof glass. Now we're responsible if anything bad happens. We had to sign special waivers. There's nothing bad that's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? As he's waving There's guns around. There's nothing bad that's gonna happen. Hey everybody, how you doing? He's the manager here, and uh, he's uh, helping us out on his day off. He actually came in, and. Uh, we're gonna try and actually shoot some uh, some glass this morning. See how everything works out. All right, guys. So yeah. we've got our piece of B4 bulletproof glass here. It's what's gonna be installed in the 2022 Escalade that we're picking up later today. So we're gonna test it. Why are we testing the bulletproof glass? Well, maybe hmm, maybe we got an idea to do another video down the road. And what would we be doing down the road? that we need to test the bulletproof glass. Can you guys guess? Stay tuned and find out on the next episode, but today we are testing the B4 bulletproof glass and see what it can handle. Following you, sir. Why are you liking, why are you liking like you're in the army right now? There you go, sir. Thank you, brother. Eyes and ears, everybody got good? All right. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna hit it. So you clearly see you don't have penetration. You do have a lot of back blowout though. So what really broke off that top was that piece that was already at that top that we kind of weakened out. And you do have some back end blowout is from the overpressure, but you didn't get penetration, so I see that. 
Well, I, all right, guys, I really did not think Victor was going to hit it with the first shot. I really did not think that. So what are you shooting it with today, Michael? Well, today we're just going to be shooting it with standard uh, two, two, three rounds. Okay. Okay. And then uh, after we try that, we're going to shoot it with, which is not allowed in our range, but because we're under supervision today, uh, we're going to shoot one round of five, five, six. Green tip penetrator, we'll see if that actually will penetrate. Now, what is the penetrator supposed to do? So the difference between the two rounds is that this is just a standard lead round. This is a standard lead round with a solid core steel jacket inside, so there's a little little steel core in there, and these will actually penetrate uh, glass, and they'll penetrate metal and things of that nature, so that's Hopefully. why we don't allow them here on range, because they will <laughs> penetrate our AR-500 armor, so we do have to be careful with these, so. That's why you're shooting. We'll do one shot of that. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, and uh, when Tony's getting shot, we're definitely not using the green tips, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Tony doesn't want to die. <laughs> It almost looks like like the 45 did more damage, huh? Doesn't look like it went through. No, but we definitely do see a lot more deformation in the in the glass. You've got a lot more punch through. I bet if we flip that over, we would see pretty good uh, push through all the way back. I'm down. And you can see it's bulged out quite a bit more. We did not get penetration for the 45 at the top, the uh, 5 by 6 and then the other 223. But a significant amount of damage from the uh, from the glass to the glass. Wow. You did a good job. Look, you could feel it bubbled in the back, but it did not go through. Mike, what was your, did you think the bullet was going to go through? Or what no. was, you didn't think it would? Now, if I followed it up with multiple rounds, I may actually get eventually penetration. Wow. If I could hit in the same spot, which would be unlikely for me to do in a, Defensive environment like that. Wow. Yeah. We're gonna load this up. Eyes and ears, everybody. Locked and loaded. You guys good? Here we go. So that's our Desert Eagle. That edge breaking. So you're gonna get that, but again, we still don't have penetration. Even with the 50 wow. cal round going into the. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Vic, you might need those. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. All right, so we're ready to go. There you go. And a miss. Nice! Miss again. So obviously your laser's a little off. Good thing we gave you all four rounds. There you go. Ah, I got hit in the nuts by a shell. Right in the nuts. And it is. Don't put that on film. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get Edit it out, bro. Right, that's a front sight. I, I know. And it's backwards. I don't know why they And it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Victor put it up backwards. That's so great. you had a laser and a sight and you still miss all the <laughs> hey. 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 I'm just gonna say, Mike never missed once. <laughs> Mike's a professional. Hit <laughs> it the first time. Hundred uh, percent. Just give him a little time. wink. Give him a little <laughs> wink. I'm pretty sure gonna hit it the first time. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Victor just missed with four slugs. Mike is gonna shoot it with one. I'm taking bets if anybody wants in it. but we still don't have penetration. Or the edges are starting to fall apart really badly, obviously. Um, but you do have two multiple hits with slugs right in the glass right there. That's beautiful. Great shot. Yeah, flip it over to the back. So again, no penetration on anything, but you do have a lot of damage to it, uh, but it should ultimately hold. Yeah. All right, guys, the day has come. We are back at Ad Armor Quality Coachworks to pick up the 2022 Cadillac Escalade. Dominic has done some amazing things with the car. We're so excited to get it back, put it on the road. 
test it out. Dominic, what have you done with it? So yeah. we've, we've, we've completed all the armor work to it. We installed uh, run flats so the tires could not get flat or shot out. It'll still keep going. We installed uh, Kevlar armor inside all the doors. We, ordered a le we installed a level B4 armor glass, transparent glass. We also installed electrified door handles. Which I know the big guy is going to try out. Electri minute. We're going to try out. I'm going to demonstrate the electrified door handles for you guys and let you know how bad it hurts today. Once the car is completed, we try to put it back all back together to make it look very untouched. So a, sub, uh, a civilian who's using it would just have a regular everyday car, but it's armored. Uh, you won't be able to get carjacked. You won't look be able at, to get flats. Look at the thickness of these bullet resistant windows. That is incredible, like over a fingernail. I wanted to have curtains put in the rear for more privacy, so we built them some custom curtains. But the whole car, sides, glass, everything is completely armored to a level B4. Do you hear this? Listen, listen. Are you with me? Listen. That just sounds solid. So you're in a complete uh, cocoon of protection around you all the way around. You want you to take a look, see how the curtains look for more privacy. Curtains in the corners. We call it the cocoon of bullet resistance. I love it. Love the curtains. Beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's all lightweight armor, lightweight glass, so you can use this car for every day without totally being too uh, noticeable. Dominic, with all the work that you guys have done to it, what is the approximate weight add to the vehicle? We add about 650 pounds to this vehicle. 650, 650 pounds. 650 pounds. So all the way from the back, the doors, the windows, everything is bullet resistant. Everything now. is covered on the sides and all the glass from the, from the roof down. It's amazing, amazing. Oh, with only 650 pounds, and that's nothing. That's, I mean, that's you that's, know, that's two of my cousins of, riding in the back seat. Couple of passes. Couple, <laughs> couple, of, our, couple of our cousins. That's right. <laughs> First drive after the three week overhaul. Let's go for a ride. Love that camera. Clarity, quality. It's got close to the power of the Lamborghini, right, Scott? <laughs> you felt the same G forces as the Lambo, right? Not even close. What? Sky. A little more safer shopping. I think we do a video of going to the worst parts of California and driving through them in the, uh, you know, bullet resistant vehicle. I think we'll have to look up what are the worst, most unsafest parts of California and maybe do a video of driving through all those places. What do you think, Scott? Yeah, probably take it for a real test run, huh? Real test run, bro. <laughs> this is just, you know, taking it through the, you know, what do they call it? preliminary test. We need a real test now. I gotta stretch real quick, guys. I'm gonna have to catch him if anything happens. I gotta stretch real quick, guys. Nice and limber. Alright, we ready? You guys ready? Woo! I'm a little nervous. A little excited, you little excited can, you nervous. Can do it. Alright, let's do this. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah, that feels great! Yeah, you're not gonna hold on to that. Like I'm literally trying to grab the handle and grip it and hold it, and my hand will not stay gripping it. It'll, it'll, put, like, it'll put hair on your chin. I can feel it all the way up to my elbow. I can feel it all the way up to my elbow. Let's do it. Third time's the charm. Come on, Tony. You can, you can grip this. Come on. Like oh, no, that that's 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 a good amount, and I got a very high pain he, tolerance. You got shorter as he went higher. <laughs> I got a pretty high pain tolerance and that, that hurts pretty good. Yeah, I can't feel my right arm right now. Well, Dominic, you guys done an incredible job. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for taking us through the whole Thanks process. For coming out. Appreciate and it. where do you guys find you if they're looking for the safety for their just, family? And We just uh, come to Quality Coach Works in Ontario, California. Thank you so much. It was a real pleasure. Thank you. There's some more stuff coming real soon, guys. We, we got some creative ideas together to Italians. So you're going to really like the next video. Stay tuned.